We're going to graph on your TI-84 by first getting your calculator set up correctly. I'm going to go to my format button that's on that top row of buttons by hitting second followed by format. Now I want yours to look just like mine does. If it doesn't for some reason and you need to make a change, say that polar is selected, you're going to arrow over to what you do want to have selected and then hit enter. You can use your up and down, left and right arrow keys to do that. Next, let's put an equation in. I'm gonna to go to my Y equals button to do that. So I'm here in my equation screen, and I also want yours to look just like mine. Notice how none of the plots up here along the top are highlighted. If you do have one highlighted, let's unhighlight that by arrowing up and then clicking on enter to select or unselect. So I've got no plots there. And if you happened to have an equation up here, I want you to also clear that equation. You can arrow up and down to get to the equation and then hit your clear button. Okay, so now we're all set. Let's go ahead and put a parabola in. I want to use the variable that my calculator uses and my variable key is right here, kitty corner from that second button. I'm going to go ahead and hit that variable key and up pops an X. Let's do a parabola. So I'm going to do X squared. I'm going to grab the squared button over here. So X squared. And then let's do, um, how about plus two? Now I want to graph, but I want to graph in the right viewing window and your calculator may not be on the correct viewing window. I'm going to show you two ways of doing that, but this first way is by far the easiest way. I'm going to go to my zoom button and then I'm going to choose zoom standard. So you're going to arrow down or you can type the number six and then hit enter. Zoom standard gives me the standard viewing screen, which is from negative 10 to 10 in both the X and the Y direction. Now the other way to adjust your viewing window is to, you probably guessed it, is to click on this window button. And you'll see that that window, because I already did a zoom standard, has my X min and my X max at negative 10 and 10. The scale is at one, those are our tick marks. And the same is true with my Y min, Y max, and Y scale. Now if I go back to my graph, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the graph button to view it. There's several things that I can do. I can certainly zoom in and zoom out. I just clicked that zoom button. Let's go ahead and click on zoom in. The best way to zoom in is to move your cursor so it's the new center. So if I want the new center to be, say up here a little bit, maybe above my curve, I can move my cursor there, then I hit on enter. I also have this trace button. If I hit the trace button, it puts the cursor directly on my function. Take a look at this upper left hand corner. It's got the function name right there and I can arrow left and right to trace along the graph. Now I don't think that trace is the best way to find values on your graph, but you can use a value function. That is in the calc menu. So if I click on second followed by our calc button, I get value as one of my choices and it says give me an x and it's going to give me a y back so let's see what's happening at say x equals two and then i'm going to hit enter notice up above it's giving you your y values and x squared plus two is equal to six i can type another number just right on top of that x equals zero and it gives me its new y value now to get back to my original viewing screen, I'm just gonna go again to zoom standard. Let's put in a second graph by going to y equals. Let's put in a line this time. I wanna do three x minus two and I can hit my graph button. You could also write from here, click zoom standard. Now both of these are showing up, but if you just wanna look at one, go back to that equation screen, your y equals screen, and if you arrow over to the equal sign, you can hit enter to either highlight or unhighlight, choose or unchoose those to show. If I click on that graph button, I've got just the line. There is so much more. Check this one out.